This video is sponsored by Narrative. Recently, Viltrox sent me their 50 millimeter 1.8 prime lens for the Sony E-mount. 50 millimeters is not exactly my favorite focal length, but I don't actually have a 50 millimeter autofocus lens for my a7 IV. And I thought, why not try this one out and share the results with you guys? This video is not sponsored by Viltrox, by the way. They just sent me the lens. I do get to keep it, but I let them know that I'm just gonna be sharing my honest thoughts on the lens, the good and the bad. So I messaged my good friend Liliana and asked her if she wanted to go out and take some photos. And then I also had Gerard come through and film some behind the scenes footage. It was actually very spur of the moment. I went and picked up the lens from the post office that morning. And then I couldn't really think of a location for the photo shoot. Lily told me like sort of the area that she lives in and then that kind of jogged my memory and I remember that I shot a wedding at this beautiful golf course venue so so many years ago and I remembered that there was this like beautiful bridge um, going over a canal so I thought hey why don't we go down there and check it out and see if it's still there and um, it still looks the same and it does and it was a really beautiful spot to take photos I'm actually excited to go back there and shoot again and towards the end of the shoot you guys will see we actually ventured out onto the golf course. I was pretty sure that we were gonna get kicked out and there was like staff members walking around and stuff, but nobody kicked us out. So that was a little bit of a miracle. And uh, I think we got some really awesome photos. So before I talk a little bit more about this lens and uh, whether I like it or not, I'm gonna roll the behind the scenes for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. Bring your hands like maybe here instead. That was good though. Yeah. Oh, that's actually sick. That is actually really cool. I might try like a higher angle. Yo, that's freaking cool. Come stand in the middle of the road. Walk away from me. Yeah, stay there. Yeah, bring it, maybe bring your hands together. Yeah, that's cool. I think this might be a cool frame, like you in the middle, and then like the road kind of trailing off into the distance. Just take a little step so you're like right in the middle. Yeah, that's sick. Let's go to the bottom of the hill. I'm just being very careful not to have like a palm tree growing out of Lily's head in the shot. So I'm trying to get her like in between the palm trees, but still like showing off the trees in the background. Um, I was thinking the palm tree would be like so nice, but my head bush. Yeah, like just growing out of your head. Kind of like a pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a look, the look we're going for here. And maybe bring yeah, maybe bring one hand up or like something with your hand. like walk away from me and just like look back every couple of steps. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I love that. That's just perfect. Right, On this side of the road. Oh, do that again. That was cool. Like just holding them. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, actually, I like the smiley one. Let's do a couple of like smiling and yeah, that's nice. All right, and walk towards me. Yep. All right, so we're using the continuous focus here. So we're gonna see how this lens tracks Lily as she walks towards us and we walk backwards as well. Cool, love it. Okay, let's be real here for a second. Importing and sifting through all your photos from a photo shoot can be really time consuming. But Narrative Select is the fastest way to cull your photos so that you only import the ones that you actually want to edit into your editing software. You can import hundreds of photos in just seconds and begin selecting your favorites with fast loading previews. Select will help you out by detecting which photos are out of focus when your subject has their eyes closed or even is mid blink. You can filter the photos automatically by sharpness or if you like me, you can go through and check yourself using their face detection crop view. When you're done, hit the ship button and then this is going to send only the selected photos straight to a brand new catalog or your existing catalog so you can start editing straight away. Narrative Select has saved me a ton of time. Why wait for previews to load on photos that you aren't going to edit anyway? The best thing about Select is that it's completely free. Enjoy all of the premium features of Select for up to six projects a month using the link down in the description below. I'm a big fan of this app guys, so I really hope you check it out. The 50 millimeter 1.8 from Viltrox. I actually enjoyed shooting with this lens. It was a lot of fun. And as you guys saw, I was able to make some photos that I was actually really, really happy with. It's pretty rare that I try out a modern lens and absolutely hate shooting with it. Most lenses these days are pretty good and this is no exception. The photos are really sharp and detailed. They did keep up with the 33 megapixel sensor of the a7 IV. During the shoot, I did notice that the autofocus was hunting around a little bit. We were shooting sort of around blue hour. So it's a little bit harder for the camera to sort of see, but I definitely did notice that the autofocus of this Viltrox lens just wasn't as good as some of the other Viltrox lenses that I've tried out. The speed and the accuracy just wasn't as good as I expected. One other thing that I do really like about this lens is the build quality and like all Viltrox lenses or most of them, it has a metal exterior. However, this one is not weather sealed. So you don't have any of that weather sealing around the mount and I don't think there's any throughout the body either. So definitely do keep that in mind. There is some color fringing as well. So you will see some of those magenta, cyan sort of fringes, um, especially on really high contrast areas. You can take care of them in Lightroom, but yeah, that's another thing to know. When I first got the lens as well, I was just playing around with it around the house, shooting just random objects. And I thought that the autofocus was kind of messing up, but it turns out that I was just too close to what I was trying to shoot. So the minimum focusing distance of this lens is a little bit longer than what I'm used to, which makes it a little bit harder to recommend for product photography or any close up work. But I gotta say overall, for the price of this lens, I definitely can recommend it, especially if you don't shoot 50 millimeters all that often and you can't quite justify spending an absolute boatload of money on the more expensive options out there. So yeah, the 50 millimeter 1.8, good value lens, do recommend it. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like while you're down there as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.